Hi, welcome to the session 8 of uh, working with blocks and attribute for the AutoCAD Essential for Civil Engineers course. Now, let's see what you will learn in this session. So after the completion of the session, you will be able to create and insert blocks. Now, uh, creating and insert blocks are two different processes. First, you need to create a block and then you have to insert a block. So we'll be learning about how uh, you're going to create a block and how you're going to insert a block and the definition of a block. Then uh, basically the blocks that you create are again are two types. One is a non-dynamic block that you're going to create uh, uh, by not defining any parameters but there is another uh, block that we call dynamic block in which you can control it by the use of parameters. So you'll be also learning about parameters and assigning actions to blocks to make them dynamic. So you, an existing block can be made to a dynamic block that you will learn. Then you will be learning about the, uh, the native way of uh, creating drawing files. That means a block that you create is saved internally in the uh, computer they don't have any extension but if you want to create a block and name it as a drawing file then you can do it by using the right block then there is a, a old design center where all the blocks can be previewed so if you have an existing block that you have created for a project and you have used in a project you can see them in a particular setup called the design center that we will be learning about and you can also use the tool palette that's again a native uh, process or a native command by which you can uh, insert uh, blocks from the tool palettes you can edit a block you can split a block you can basically have a nested block you can uh, rename blocks you can delete the unused blocks by you the purge command and then later on you will be also learning about how you can add value to a block like the add text value to a block uh, so that can be editable uh, everywhere inside uh, drawing so we'll be talking about attributes, how it helps in tagging, how it helps in annotation, how it helps in creating BOQ, and there are a lot more. So attributes are very, very important inside the block for helping to create a, a BOQ or a list. Then uh, how you can edit those attributes, how you can make them visible or how you can control the visibility of the attribute. So everything about blocks and attribute will be covered in the session eight. Now let's come to the uh, concepts of block. Now uh, let's say uh, in a particular project, in a construction project, so you have got different drawings. Like uh, let me talk about the drawings that will be available in a project, a building project. It can be a site survey, it can be a, a site layout, it could be an architectural uh, layout, architectural elevations, it can be a plumbing layout or a plumbing elevation, it can be electrical layout, electrical elevations. And there are a lot of others, there are a bunch of drawings that are created in a project now blocks are basically a kind of objects that are repeatedly used inside a project like for example the door and windows window or a furniture or a, let's say you can say a faucet in a toilet or a wc or a, let's say you need to show the fan or you want to show the lights in elevation or in plan you want to uh, show uh, some kind of um, uh, connections in a particular steel uh, plate so these are of example of blocks that you save and uh, save into the current project and you can use it from time to time now there are certain uh, websites where the blocks are available we'll be also talking about those where you can download the blocks uh, and uh, get them into your project to start so blocks are basically uh, uh, objects defined by a name uh, with an insertion point and then once you insert these blocks inside a drawing let's say for an electrical plan you you want to have different uh, points of the electrical like the lighting points or you want to have the power socket you want to show the uh, location of the uh, concealed lights you want to show the location of the switchboards so the, these you need not have to draft so these uh, objects are uh, predefined and created and saved inside the project that you can call and use as a block. So I would suggest that block is something that uh, an object that can be called inside a project and can be inserted, which has repeated use. Let us take an example here. Now, for example, in this particular architectural plan, you have this WC that is there. Now you can see that once you click into it, it is a block uh, reference with the name of WC. Uh, WH. So if I want to insert this particular 
object anywhere for to show the WC in the toilet. So I can use it. Now see in when I click, so to, to see the block manager or you say B here over here to see the block definition. Now here in the block definition, there are various things that you need to define. For example, uh, here in this drop down list, you will find the list of blocks that have been used. So you can see that this is the block that has been used over here. And this is the uh, preview of the block. So then once you define a block, you define a block by creating a particular object, uh, press B for block definition and it will be saved inside the project. Now the question that you would be asking, can I use the blocks uh, basically anywhere in the project? Yes, you can use these blocks anywhere in the project. There's a process of calling the blocks inside a drawing file. So we'll be talking about what is that particular process. So blocks are very, very useful tools for uh, doing presentation of, let's say, I want to have a furniture layout. I want to have a, uh, let's say, a structural layout in which I want to basically place a rebars uh, in equal position or a particular shape of rebar that I want to use in my connection detail. And then uh, it can be, let's say, the connections like the uh, nuts, bolts and other thing. They are created prior or you can create it and save it inside a project and you can call them. So there are two commands which are associated with the blocks. One is the creation of the block that you start with B. So you enter B and you can see that the definition of the block uh, can be done. You, you can define a block from the B command and the other is the I to insert the block. So insert a block means once you have created a block inside a project, it can be called and you can basically uh, select any of the block and then you can insert it in the file. So then the question would be is the block is having any units? Definitely this block is used in a different file. Let's say you, the existing object that you have made is in millimeters and then if you want to basically insert that particular block in a project where the feet inches are done, yes it will be converted into that particular unit system. So definitely the block will have some unit depending upon in which unit it is created and the block will also have layers in which it is created. So the blocks properties can be controlled by the layers or by the block. So we'll be talking about the properties also, how the object properties can be controlled. The blocks uh, object property can be controlled by the layer management tool. So here uh, in this particular uh, session, we will be learning about how to create some of the blocks example that I will take. And then I will tell you the procedure of inserting it in the project. As well as then I will also explain you how to use different tools like uh, M insert or divide measure uh, tools that we have learned in the previous session and how the blocks can be used uh, inside the divide command, inside the measure command and inside the M insert command. So let's uh, first of all uh, start learning how to create a block. So first of all here uh, in this, I would uh, create some furnitures like the chairs, tables for the plan, for example. For the furniture layout, I may require a chair, I may require a table uh, or I may require some kind of planters. So I will create those objects and keep it in the block or I would also require to have the section lines or doors. Yes, we can have the blocks as doors. Uh, of different sizes, windows of different sizes. You can create the block and insert them into the drawing. So we will learn about how to create a door block, how to create a window block, how to basically create a block for furnitures, how to create blocks for different symbols like the electrical symbols or the plumbing symbols or the firefighting symbols. We'll have one one each example from the different disciplines. And uh, then we will be seeing how we can insert it in our file. So this blocks it can be used in the plan layout that is a flow plan or it can be also used in the elevations also. The block can be used anywhere. So uh, let's learn it by example to example.